Uh, morning, everyone. I thought I'd show how far I got along with uh, the new game Vikings at Lands O Meadow. And I think I'll just jump right in. I'll explain the game as we go. Uh, the game is driven by cards. And the object of the game is I have 35 Vikings. And I want to keep them alive by the end of this deck, which sort of represents one year. Uh, so let's get started. First card. Vikings set sail from Greenland to Newfoundland, led by Eric the Red, Ghidorah, and Thor Steinsfelder, in 1012 with 35 crew. Move ahead to the first white circle. So we're going to move ahead to the first white circle. Set food at 6, weapon 6, supplies at 6, and your tension track is at 0. Uh, because of our voyage, we're taking off. Uh, we're going to spend some food, and we're at 1. Uh, card number 2. A strong current throws the Viking ship off course. Heil, gale force winds throw them in overboard. Roll a d6. So different things will happen. And we roll a d6. I roll the 6. It says Vikings forge onward. Plus 1, minus 1 Vikings. So 1 got swept off the ship. And I move ahead 1. And I'm going to roll again for my supplies. We have wood and iron weapons and things on board. See if it lasted during the trip. I roll the one, and if you roll a one, there's no effect, and minus one food for this part of the voyage. Uh, next card. Strong high force winds out in the open Atlantic Ocean. Roll a d6. So I roll a d6, I roll a two. A two is take advantage and raise all sails. Move ahead one. So I keep, as you can see, I keep adjusting the game um, as I go. So I'm going to move ahead one. Again, we'll roll ahead for uh, resources at sea, and it's a five. Five is supply minus one gets washed overboard. So last one supply, and again, um, I lose one food. Calm seas and a lot of fish. Time to restock supplies or reach land quicker and keep moving on to reach Newfoundland. Again, you roll a d6, see what happens during this part of the voyage. It's a five, no fish, move ahead one. So I don't catch any fish, my food stays stable. I do move ahead one. Uh, next card, Baffin Island. Vikings near Heliland, the land of flat stones, which is present day Baffin Island. Exploring finds them, exploring finds them see only miles of flat rock. Again, you roll a d6 and it is a six. Uh, you reach Hella Land, minus one food for each space moved. Um, so I'm actually gonna get thrown off course back to Hella Land, minus one food, and also minus one food for uh, the resources at the bottom of the, the trip. Markland. The Vikings land in Markland. Modern day Labrador use this stay to harvest lumber. So again, we'll see how we do harvesting lumber. It's a three. I'm going to move ahead one. And um, supply is going to go up by two. Minus one food. So supply goes up by two. Sorry, that would be a six. Now, whenever you reach a zero... Um, on food, uh, you lose two Vikings. So right off the bat, I have a couple of people starving from lack of resources because of the trip. Uh, so I've just lost two Vikings right off the get-go. And last part, Vikings land in Vinland, a land named for plentiful grapes. Once you've landed in Vinland, you can start your two choices or two moves for each turn, see choices. So minus one food for each space is moved. So I'm going to have to move one, two. So that's twice I moved down on the food track. So two Vikings are lost. Two more Vikings are lost. So my Vikings are really starving as we reach here. It would have been nice if we would have caught that fish when we're in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, and now I get my two moves. So obviously I'm going to uh, use both my dice on fish for food. So for food, you're going to roll. If you roll a one to four, you collect food. Five is unsuccessful. Six is one of the Vikings gets killed out searching for food and you go up once on the tension track because you've had a conflict with First Nations. So I need a couple one to fours and I get a six. Oh, geez. 
so I get one food, but tension track goes up by one, and I lose another Viking. So I'm now down to 27 Vikings. So I'm not off to a good start, and I've only played seven cards. Oh man, this is not good. Um, I've played this game probably about six, seven times. I've won. I've only won once. So uh, it is kind of a tough, tough, tough win. Uh, next card. Now I'm getting to the deck of uh, 35 cards, I believe. Uh, and these are shuffled, so it'll be different each time you play. Um, I was even thinking of having 30 cards and taking five out, but we're just, again, I'm just experimenting. If you have any ideas or suggestions, I'd be more than welcome to hear them. Put them in the comments section. Uh, ways that you think I could improve the game, I, I'd be more than happy to, to hear and, and implement them. Uh, next, scurvy. The Vikings suffer from scurvy and sickness found during their time in Newfoundland, not knowing the medicinal plants. So I'm going to lose two more Vikings uh, for my food supply and raid. Um, I think what I'm going to do is try and get two more food. Roll two dice. A three will get me one food. A five will be unsuccessful. Uh, next card. Battle chart. Conflict breaks out between the Beothuk and the indigenous, pe the indigenous people of the area and the Vikings. Go directly to the battle chart. Um, if you are going to battle the First Nations people, you're better off doing it early. So what you do is you index the amount of crew that you have and the amount of weapons. So I have six weapons. So I'm fully stocked there and 25 crew. So 25 crew is here and six weapons would be here is nine. Now, probably what I should have done is one of your other options is to build a palisade. So by building a palisade, I would put this here. I would reduce my supply by four, but that would move the number up by one, but I never did. I wasn't thinking very well here. So anyway as i said i'm at six weapons and 25 vikings so i need to roll nine or less to survive this all-out battle so the first nations have brought their full amount of warriors against my 25 people let's see what i do i need nine or less oops and i roll a nine so i win the battle if you win the battle i gain two weapons but this isn't going to help me because i already have six i do lose two in the battle with them um, if I would have lost the battle, I would have lost five Vikings and one weapon. So um, I try not to go to war with the, the First Nations people. I think the best strategy for the game is to try and void as much as you can. Um, when you do go to the battle chart, uh, the tension gets moved to two. So usually it builds up to six, moves back to two. In this case, we're at one. So it will go up to two because of the war. So... Um, I'm at 23 Vikings. Next, sell self. Vikings sell self to Connecticut to collect butternuts and grapes. So my food goes up by two, which is good. Uh, my weapons go up. I'm already at six. For my two turns, I am going to build that palisade. So I will build a palisade, which reduce my supply by four. And I think for my second roll, I will try and increase my supply. So I need a one to four and I get it. So my supply goes up to three. Uh, next one, bull is loose. These, a lot of these stories, facts on the cards are things that I researched and found out. The Viking, the Vikings bull gets loose and runs amok amongst indigenous people. They flee because they've never seen a bull before. This does raise the tension up by one and reduce one on your food track. Uh, I think for this turn, what I'm going to do, I don't want that tension track to get too high. I'm going to take off one supply and one food, and I'm going to trade with the First Nations. So I will give them that to reduce the tension down to a two. So your options are, when, you're, when you have your two moves, you can collect food, which you'll roll a d6. One to four is successful. You can build your weapons, so two supply would give you one weapon. You can collect supply, you roll a d6, one to four, you're successful, and your supply goes up. You can trade, where you give the First Nations one food, one supply, and you go down on the tension track. When the tension track gets to six, it's a full blown out war against the First Nations. 
Uh, you can raid, which takes up both your turns. It will increase the tension by two. So you cannot raid if you're on four or five on the tension track, because that would move it to six. So you can't raid and cause a, a full out war. You do go to the battle track. If you win, you lose two Vikings, but you do gain one weapon and four supply and or food. So it could be four supply, it could be two supply, two food. Uh, if you lose the battle, you lose five Vikings and two weapons. Um, also, when you're collecting food, if you roll a six, you will lose a Viking and plus one tension. So it's as if you're out scavenging for food and you had a conflict with the First Nations. Uh, on supply, if you roll a six and it's unsuccessful, uh, one Viking is sick. So you would put uh, a marker on one and then to, to notice that he's sick and you go down one. And then on one of your turns, you could use two food to revive that Viking or make him healthier. And then your number goes back up on the Viking track. So that's revive. So you'd be using the medicinal medicines in the area to make them uh, better. Uh, the last thing you get to do is build a palisade, which costs four supply, but it does increase one number on the battle chart. So again, if I was to index, if it was 31 Vikings and add four weapons, I'd roll a 10. Uh, with a palisade, it would be 11. Palisade is a fence that uh, goes around the fort. So the bull is loose. Uh, this is where I'm at so far. Uh, next card, I'll just do a few more just to get an idea of the game. Uh, next one, the Vikings explore the area of Markland, which is Labrador. It was known for their forests to collect wood and iron to smelt and make into weapons. They did have a forge at Vinland and a carpentry shop. So my weapons go up by two, but I'm already at six. Uh, tension goes down by one because I've left the area. And now I can do two things. I think I'm gonna roll for food and I'm going to roll for supply. So food, oh, not good. So if you roll a six for food, um, you lose one Viking and you go up on the tension track, not what I wanted. Uh, or one for supply, and that does go up. So you don't want to be rolling sixes. Uh, next one, trading. Vikings led by Thornfinn Carl Stephany and his wife Gudrid trade their milk and red cloth with the Skralians for their bison furs and gray squirrel skins. The Skralians was the name that the Vikings gave to the uh, First Nations in the area was known as could, different interpretations. One is savage, one is wretched. Um, obviously, they didn't get along. So my food goes up by two because I am trading. Supply goes down by one and tension goes down by one, which is good. I want to keep my tension as low as I can in this game. Uh, my two moves, I think I'm going to roll both on supply. And a four and a two, so my supply goes up by two. Um, next one. Peaceful relations. Vikings establish peaceful relations with the indigenous people on the northern tip of Newfoundland. Tension goes down by one. Food goes down by one. Uh, that works out great for me. I like to keep my tension very, very low. Um, I think for this turn, I'm going to roll for food. And that goes up by one. And I think I'll roll for food again. And it's a five. I don't get it. So my food stays where it is. Uh, next card, Vikings called the indigenous people in Newfoundland Skralings, thought to mean something like savages or the wretched. Tension goes up by two. My weapons go down by one. Um, I think what I'll do for this turn is I will trade. So I'll give them one food, one supply to lower that tension. And for the second move, I think I will go fish. Try and get some food, and I do, and I'm back up to four. Uh, next one, violent outbreaks. Violent outbreaks between the locals and the Vikings happen after some initial peaceful trading. So tension goes up by one, my weapons go down by one, and I lose two Vikings in the conflict. Um, I think what I'm going to do is trade supply and food, lower that tension, and I will roll for supply. And roll a three, so it goes up by one. Uh, next card. So I'm sitting at 20 Vikings so far. Not bad after the start that I had, but I know there's some bad cards coming. Uh, violent outbreaks between the locals and the Vikings after some initial peaceful trading. Tension goes up by two. 
weapons go down by one and I lose three Vikings. Oh, geez. So I'm down to 17. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two supply to build up my weapons, put them at four. And I think I'm going to try and build supply. And I need a good roll in this one, one to four, and I get it. So my supply goes back up to two. Uh, next one, attack. Indigenous people take offense to the bull running loose at them and plan an attack on the Viking village. So this actually happened in real life. Uh, when the bull got loose, it spooked the indigenous. They all ran and they're angry and they came back the next day in full attack and went after the Vikings. The Vikings did hold them off, but um, yeah, not a good thing. So my weapons go down by two. Tension goes up by one. And I lose three Vikings in this battle with them. Um, oh, geez, things are not looking good. Things got bad quick. I think I'm going to move my supply up by one. Oh, six, not good. So if you roll a six, one of my Vikings gets sick. So I am going to put a marker here. So one of my Vikings is sick. This goes down by one. Um, I can spend two food on my second turn to get them better. Um, but I don't like my food being near one because if I lose a food, I lose two Vikings. Um, I think what I'll do for my second turn is trying to improve my supply. And I do, I move that up to a three. Uh, next card, Vikings led by Thornfin Carl Sefni and his wife Gutrid explore the area to hunt and collect grapes from New Brunswick. So food goes up by one. Boy, that came in handy. Supply goes up by one. My weapons go up by one. I think what I'll do is, first of all, trade. So lower my fish, my supply to lower the tension. And I think I'll trade twice. Lower that to get the tension back down to two. So it's when the Vikings leave the fort, uh, it's always a good thing. Uh, next. Stealing weapons. Vikings catch an indigenous man trying to steal weapons, but he is caught and they kill him. This actually happened in real life. My weapons go up by one, but tensions go up by two. Tensions now at four. Um, I think I'm going to roll once for food and once for supply. We'll say the white markings is food. And two fives. So I don't get either one. Oh, geez, this could hurt down the road. Uh, next one. Freitas. Freitas, the half-sister of Leif Erikson, who was pregnant at the time, did not retreat with her fellow Vikings when attacked. This was the, the bull happening. She stops, grabs a sword, and strikes her bare breast with the sword. And that actually scared the indigenous people. They never kept coming after them after the Vikings were retreating. Uh, they left when they retreated home. Uh, so the tension goes up by two, which puts me at six on the Viking track. So that comes first. We go right to the battle chart. I have 13 Vikings and four weapons. So 13 Vikings and four weapons is a five, but I do have a palisade, which makes it a six. So I need to roll a six or less, or I could be in big trouble here. I roll a five. So I ended up winning this battle. This is fantastic. I only lose two Vikings. And I gained two weapons, so that's great. Uh, part of the Battle of Freitas, I did lose two more, so I am down to nine. Food goes down to one. Weapons will go down by one. Uh, for my two turns, I think I've got a roll for food. And tension will go back to two after the battle. So roll for food, I get a one, and I will roll for food again. I get a five, I don't get any this time. Um, Next one, Snorri. Snorri, the son of Thornfinn Karlsefni and his wife Gutrid, is the first known born European in North America. So tension goes down by one, weapons go down by one. And I think what I'm going to do this time is uh, build up my food. I want to get this Viking that's sick is better. So both of these go towards food. Oh man, I got one, but. I lose a Viking on the raid and the tension goes up. So that's not going to help me very much. So again, when you go searching for food, you roll a six. You have a small conflict with the uh, First Nations people. You lose one Viking and the tension goes up. Iron weapons. 
the Vikings refused to trade their iron swords and weapons with the local indigenous people. And this is true. They would trade ribbon and milk. And the indigenous people loved the milk that the Vikings had, uh, but they would not give them their iron weapons um, for fearful they'd come back with them. So weapons go up by one. I'm now at five. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is roll one for food. And I do get one. I'll use that second move to revive my sick Viking. So that will move back to my Viking is no longer sick. And this goes up to a nine. Uh, next one. Sight discovered. In 1960, a Norwegian couple, Anne Stein and Helga Instead, discovered the site at Land's Own Meadow. Uh, no effect. So that's just an informational thing, give you a bit of a break in the game. Um, I think what I'm going to do is roll for food and supply. White markings will be food, so they're both go up by one, which is good. And... Uh, I think I'm just going to stop the video right there. I just wanted to give you a quick look at what the game would look like. So right now, as it stands, I have, geez, probably maybe a third of the deck left to go. So it doesn't look very good for me. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. Uh, I have nine Vikings left. I do have a Palisade. None of my Vikings are sick. I'm set pretty good on the tracks right now. Uh, what I probably would do in the next few turns is try and lower this tension to zero. I really don't want to go to the battle chart anymore with them, especially with only nine Vikings left. Uh, even with six, six weapons, my chance of surviving is a six plus my Palisade, which is a seven. But uh, this is uh, Vikings, Lanzo Mado, sort of a siege game. Uh, not quite, though. Sort of the opposite. Rather than attacking, you're defending. Um, I'm trying to get through the winter with uh, my at least one Viking when I'm done. If you have any suggestions or comments, please let me know. Uh, once I get to the point where I think it's it's good, I'll stick it as a PDF. Right now, it's still sort of in development. Uh, I still want to make it a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, feel free to send me your comments. This is Vikings at Lands Old Meadow.